Okay, so just an afternoon video today. Um, just a short one about, about, oh, well, since going and having my beautiful massage and having that collagen facial, I'm hoping like it will reduce those wrinkles. Um, I felt a difference um, doing it. The facial's really good. Uh, everything, it's just like constantly that they put the stuff on your face, those little eye pillows. Um, super relaxing, but I felt like when I finished, actually, it made a difference. Like it was actually worth it, not just some sort of gimmick, you know. They say that that's what it is and it does something. Um, which I would probably like to do again. I actually, I think I found the whole thing like very therapeutic, but it was also really relaxing. But I found this little snippet. Um, top 10 foods for fighting aging. So I'll um, go through them now. Because then this, if you can't go get your little collagen facial, um, you can try and eat these foods, which will be like super, super helpful. Um, so they are watercress. Um, is one of the top, it's not in any particular order, it's just top 10 that are actually good. Uh, watercress, I've never actually had that before, but I heard it like there's a watercress soup. Um, it's just a leafy thing. Sweet potatoes, obviously sweet potatoes are great. They're very, um, I don't know, you can use them for just about anything. And as a substitute for some other things, uh, as well as like standard potatoes. Garlic. Need I say more? Spinach. Spinach is really good. High source of folate, which is just good in general. I always feel, I don't know, lighter when I eat spinach. Like it fills your stomach and it just, I don't know, it feels nice. Eggs. Walnuts. Now, when we talk about later on the acidic and alkaline foods, walnuts are high on the spectrum of acidic. So, they're an anti-aging. Must be the oils or the what it leaves in, because um, it's got omega-3s, which is good, but what it obviously leaves uh, as residue when it passes through digestion, it's acidic. So I'm trying to look at foods that are beneficial in more than one way, um, like foods that fight free radicals, which I also have a um, detailed list of free radical fighting food, which help anti-aging as well um, but there's also free radical fighting food that are alkaline and not highly not not many high acidic foods obviously you would think more alkaline foods would be free radical fighting um, considering what they leave in your body I guess um, dark chocolate that's good anti-aging kale kale has been lately like coming into you know it was never really, oh, it was around, obviously, but more people are becoming interested in it. There's also a red kale. There's also the Tuscan kale, which is like a black leaf. Um, looks like a curly leaf spinach. Uh, very nice. And if you don't eat them at the right times, they can taste quite bitter. But the Tuscan kale that I had, like, locally here um, from a local supplier was, was so good. Um, I did a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. Um, after like boiling it and it was it was amazing it was yummy uh, legumes and beans I, I like beans if you have salsas and stuff it's always great like when I do my chili beef I always add um, a lot of beans there's a four bean mix or like kidney beans and stuff like that and salmon and oily fish now salmon I love anyway um, I've always liked salmon it's just delicious it's one of like oh, most yummy fish I was recently at my parents and had some yellow belly and it was so good to have oh, just fresh caught fish um, that dad like deboned and it was it was battered to perfection and mum cooked it to perfection and I'm uh, it was just yummy it was so nice to have um, since I haven't actually been camping in such such a long time but it was great um, any oily fish really is, is good I honestly lately with what I eat I actually prefer eating um, a lot more fish and chicken than really eating any other meat um, beef 
I, I, I like to have, but it's like on rare occasions, it's not often that I eat it. I think you just train yourself when you don't want something anymore or you substitute something else. You don't actually miss it. <clears throat> I think I noticed I was a little lethargic. Usually that's when I start eating a bit more beef to sort of boost your iron levels. I just find when I'm tired, <laughs> my body basically tells me, like, come on, get some of that red meat into you. Like beef or pork. Anyway, nice short and sweet video. Well, not as short as I would have liked, actually. Thank you. Bye.